to another episode of Mark Talks Football and today we're carrying on with that football manager say and what we're going to do today is carry on we've got still a boosh here today bash um in today's episode so what we're going to try and do win a game of football to be fair um excuse me uh yeah so what we're going to try and do is carry on with this performance uh keep winning Keep stat padding ourselves before we get our next job um, because I can't see us finishing second. But there is a thing. If you win the um, South African FA Cup, you get automatically into the um, uh, African Confederation Cup, which is basically the Europa League for Europeans. Um, that's what you get into. So I'm hoping... That if we don't finish second, which we can, if we win today, we can go second. Because it looks like the Kaiser Chiefs have dropped points. So that is something that we're looking for, is we can finish second. If we finish top two, we will be gone. If we finish um, outside of the top two, and do if we finish in the top two, then we will stay. If we finish outside the top two and win the FA Cup, we will stay. If we don't do any of that, we will be gone. But we have a penalty. 16 minutes in. Woom is stepping up into the top left-hand corner. Keeper was rooted to his spot. His ninth goal of the season. And that is great in there. Woom. Keeper didn't really dive that much. But we're nearly there. Makes it 1-0 after 17 minutes. We're also eight points behind Orlando Pirates. We've got no chance of winning the league. It is all about us now is Confederation Cup or bust. Let's hope we can do it. And predict a riot. Because everybody left in here. Oh, no, we draw level with Kaiser Chiefs. I forgot. I thought that they... Ah, the table confuses me sometimes. Okay, so we've drawn... We're now joint second. But what we will be doing is we will not be showing the cup game unless we get to the final. Because there's no point. It's either final or bust. Win it or bust. So. We're six, point, six goals behind the Kaiser Chiefs as well. So... If we can get a game like this and get a few goals on it, then I will be a very happy boy. Six more goals. Palace. Oh, across the face of goal. Right, 1-0. That was a very good first half performance, but can we put can we carry it on? Push it on. They've already changed their winger and their striker. Right, Moby, Moby, as I call him. Cross in early, and it comes back to the youngster. I think he's the youngster, is he not? No. And he's just rifled it home. Make it 2-0. 31 goal difference now compared to 36. Uh, let's make a change. I don't know why. I think Ravioli could make a good central defensive midfielder playmaker. Right, Jimenez can come off. Take the winger off as well. Right, that's all the substitutions we can make. Orlando Pirates have destroyed Super Sport United. Or oh, destroying 3 0. What would have happened if we had the budget and stuff of Super Sport United? That's the question I, I've been asking myself for a while. 
Uno. A win's a win though. A two nil win. It's, it's good. Yeah, that will do. That will do me, donkey. That will do. Right. Perfect stuff there. Two nil. Lovely jubbly. Nice work, everyone. Right. Let's get into the next fixture, shall we? Okay, so we have come back a little bit early, and it's to do with one thing and one thing only. We're now in the final of the South African Cup final. We're going to be playing against Orlando Pirates. In the next, in a minute, we're coming up. We're going to be playing Cape Town City. Tomorrow's episode will be the final game of the season and Orlando Pirates. The reason why I'm coming back early was I have been applying for a few jobs, mainly in Japan. I would love to have a go in Japan. Never done it before, never known how it's done, and I've always wanted to try and give it a go. So, the board wanted to have a chat with me, and there is no option which I think needs to be introduced into FM25 where you can say, give me a coaching badge and I will stay. There was no offer for that. So, we have a job offer here from... Kuna Mantel, Rossio Kuma Amanto Motil, uh, from Japan. They are founded in 2004. They started in the bottom. They won the league. They different name before, uh, and then they've been working their way up. Uh, and then last season, uh, they finished 19th, and now they're here again. They're trying to push up. Uh, they've won the J League 3 in 2022. In 2021, they've won the um, Kaboshi Football League in 2000 and 2005. And they've won the ha Hacham Hachaying Cup in 2005. Uh, their manager uh, has left after five years in charge. Um, he has gone to a different club, a club we actually applied for um, here, 63 years of age, has gone to Sangang Tosu. Um, in the Japanese second league. So he's gone in the same division, but I think he's gone up in the league. They have offered us the job. Um, where are they? Here. They're sixth in the league. Um, they've offered us the job. Now, we currently have a wage budget. Our wage is for 500, 500 pounds. We're getting paid 500 pounds. Um, and we're looking to develop moving forward. Now, we could stay another year and risk the cup final to say, if we win this, we go into the African uh, Continental Cup. Uh, yeah, the African Continental
Right, here we go. Final game of the episode. We've taken the job now. We will be going to Japan. Um, they've locked me out of doing anything else, which is fair enough. Um, they're going to be looking to gain a new manager in. And hopefully, I'm going to keep this South African League open. Uh, because I actually want to see how far this team goes. Um, my microphone's fucking up at this point. Um, I actually want to see how far these go. Um, I hope they go quite far, to be fair. So, let's, 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 let's try and finish second. And put strong into the season. Maybe automatically qualify for the Confer uh, Confederation Cup. And whoever co the manager comes in will come in and take this team to a whole new height. I've done my part. I've done my bit. I know that we, we're we going to struggle if, from next season because the money isn't there. We've got no finances. Everything's going a bit peak tong. So... I'm not good with finances whatsoever. I will make friendlies beyond galore just to try and get as much money as we can in. But that is about it. That is all I can do. Um, what we are going to do next episode is we're going to miss the... It, it all depends on this game. <coughs> and what happens here. We are going to play the last game of the season and the cup final in, 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 in this episode as well. And then what we will do as well at the end of tomorrow's episode is we will then officially begin the Japanese uh, the Japanese job. Uh, we will then have a look at everything we've got, who we are, and then we will go from there. But we're currently 1-0 down to Cape Town City, um, who were in the Confederation uh, Cup last season. So let's see what we can do here. Not looking good, bro. Not looking good. We're going to go positive. See how we get on here. We're going to go a bit more positive mentality here. Try and push on a bit more. See what we can do. I just hope we can really do well in Japan. They've got so much more budget. A couple of years, three years. I think we'll do a minimum of three, four years in Japan. Get them to the first division, J League One, and then see what happens. Because if we can get all of our coaching badges there, we will be going to South America and North America. So the MLS is something I would like to try and do as well. Um, it just looks so complicated, it's unreal. Um, but the, the MLS is something I would love to do. Europe is not in the question for a little while. We're 2-0 down. Luke Daniels has got the goal, and we are fucking up our end of season here. We need, if we don't sort this out, we need uh, Kaiser Chiefs to lose the last game of the season, and we need a win. Which is extremely unlikely. Um, so let's just see what happens. But a lot of, uh, we're getting a few uh, ex, uh, there's been a couple of English players going over to Japan. We had Gary Lineker um, many, many moons ago. We've also got Jesse Lingard, who's out there now, uh, playing in real life. And uh, I think we can, uh, we can, we can, we can get players if we go to the J-League. But what we're doing right now is simply not good enough. And as the guy says on inside, not looking good, bro. Not looking good. Hope you guys are watching the new Sidemen or watched because this would have been out. I'm currently watching it as this is the 3rd of June when I record this. Quite far ahead with the recordings because I will, I think it would be, I would have come back from my honeymoon now um, when you see these videos. So. Yeah, we are severely and utterly fucked. I, I don't know what's gone on with the players. They've sort of just gone... Eh. Let's go fucking attack him. Fuck it. Let's just go for it. We've got nothing to lose now. We stack pad our results. Got a goal, 60th minute. 
Two more goals will help us. Will bring us back into it. If we get a draw, we'll go one point clear. And then we will then... It all goes down to the final day. We just need to match or do better than what the Kaiser Chiefs have done. Just keep berating them. Seems to be working. Gets them all fired up. All right, Woom. Keeper's come out and done really well there to grab it. Going long. Wins that header. Trying to keep it down. Doesn't get it. Out wide here to Woom. But I have found that when we do go to Japan, I am going to need to start doing nicknames because I am not going to be able to pronounce some of them. And that's game, set, match. There's no way for us to come back now. It's all going to come down to the final day. We just need the Kaiser Chiefs to lose or draw, and we have to win the final game of the season. And we are playing Chipper, <coughs> who are there. Third from bottom. I think it's safe to say the bottom two are gone now, aren't they? All right, what are we going to do? What's Woom going to do here? Sundowns winning 4-1. That was a job I was interested in. Their manager was was on a knife edge. Um, really insecure at one point. Well, you would be if you've won the league for seven years in a row and then you're not even in the top two. Three. So, who knows? Woom, cross it in, gets cleared. Now they're going to try and hit us on the counter-attack. Good tackle there to stop it. Good run over the top. Good save. I'm actually really excited for the Japanese tour. Japanese leg of this tour. Oh, over the top. All right, Nayama. Clears it. Try and get some Japanese internationals to come to the club. I wonder what the reputation like is like of our club. We've got a massive stadium. Like fucking huge. We're the only ones who fucking play in it. Like, damn. I wonder how many people actually go to those games. I'm going to look at it before we play. So this it's a 30,000... Just fucking shit, weren't it? Look. It was a 30,000-something seated stadium, wasn't it? And we are going to have a look at what the average attendance is or the attendance that they have for the last few games. Uh, no, I don't want to go there. Actually, I want to... No, I don't want to go there. I want to go here. I know that there's a few jobs that were lined up in Japan or around. So J League 2 could have waited a while and got fourth in the league. But that's fine. So we're now going to Kunamanto. Pardon me. It's a schedule. Not having a good time, are they? Inter. Uh, attendance stadium. Oh, here we go. Attendance here. So home games six thousand. Oh, fucking hell, twenty nine thousand. Uh, six thousand. Average around about six thousand a game. Eight thousand for that one. Five thousand. Five thousand. Six thousand. Hopefully we get a hero's welcome, but that's going to be the end of the episode. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. We will be back tomorrow for more. Peace. I'll be there when you down, when you're losing your crown, till the afterglow, the afterglow.